What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, another Cons of Tarkir draft. I'll be your host, Jiminy Tarkir, from uh, the end hostilities portion of the... I think we're sticking in hostilities here. That's... Oh, incremental growth? There's only one white green, right? It's only Abzan, right? Sultai is not white green. Incremental growth is nuts. I like how I found out you were streaming right now, not because of notifications, but because I saw you in my queue. Oh, that's pretty funny, actually. What? Why? Did you get a notification, though? Bear's Companion. This is one of my favorite cards. It's just great. It's just some good value. Also, Roar of Challenge is actually surprisingly decent. It's basically like a, it's just a lure where you make all their guys block your one guy and then you kill them with the other guys. Bear's Companion turns us off to uh, end hostilities, but. But. What does that mean? What does that mean? Is that good enough? Maybe. I think so. What about Swiftwater Cliffs? It's good if we're going teamer. I think it's probably better than uh, Alpine Grizzly. Yeah, we'll take this. Bring low. Yeah, that seems good. That's just solid removal. Okay. Leaning towards teamer or... Mardu. Probably not Mardu. Probably Teamer. Snowhorn Rider. Oh, yes. Force Away is good. I don't know if it's better than Snowhorn Rider. Maybe it is? Either way, I like Snowhorn Rider. Five, four, three, two. Yeah, I'm probably going to have any one drops. There's no Mardu hate blades in this in these colors. Ooh, Force Away here. Also, Jeskai Elder. Not bad. I always get Barrage of Boulders and Bring Low confused. They're both red cards um, that have, like, a snowy, rocky background. Hmm. I'm going to take the Force Away here. Oh, Thornwood Falls. Okay. In a pretty mediocre pack. Alright. Two lands is nice. And it's going to rain as soon as... Uh, I get notification like a field of dreams. I came. That's nice. Because I built this draft. And then, uh, you know, if I build it... Here you are. How are you feeling about the upcoming Grixis cube? I'm actually feeling pretty good about it. I mean, I like all the cards. Not, I haven't seen the cube, but I like that. I mean, I know they can have enough key cards in a Grixis cube to be fun and engaging. And uh, I think it's, I think it's fine. Thank I think it's just like playing three color magic, you know. Hey, Tony, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back, buddy. 18 months. That's a good amount of time, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Highland game, Swift Kick. Swift Kick is good. It's just four mana, but it's probably better than two one, right? Two two for four. Like you can sack to deal two damage. Is also not terrible. The thing is, like teamer decks usually have big creatures, so like this set is so well designed. Like everything, there's so much overlap. Like, Swift Kick, is sick. Swift Kick is great because it works in the Jeskai deck uh, because it gives prowess. And it also works in the Teamer deck because your creatures are usually pretty sizable. 
Yeah, exactly, Ben. Like, if it's not fun, we just have to deal with it for a week. The problem is if it is fun, then we're like, oh, come back, Grixis Cube. You're fun. None of these cards are great. We can't activate Parapet. Feed the Clan, I guess, is fine. It's not. We're never going to play it. We're not going to play that guy. Treasure Cruise. Hmm. Hmm. There's a Roar. Roar came back. I'm going to take the Roar. I think we can actually win games with Roars. Yeah, you're right. I wish they would make it a point to have a cube year round too. Like I, I, I agree with you. I would be, I would be, a, almost an exclusively cube streamer. Soul tie ascendancy, not great. Another snowhorn rider. River wheel aerialist is pretty good. Rugged highlands, not bad. This guy is... I don't understand this guy. He's a 4-4 four, for four, 3, but then when it attacks or blocks, you sack it at the end of the combat. So, like, it's like a bad ball lightning. Take the aerialists, I guess. 4-5 flyer is not bad. It's it's a great profit stream since the only way to play is points or tickets, and you have a huge amount of resources. I, I thought that was true, too. I mean, I feel like this is a situation where Wizards is like, they made a decision at one point to only do cubes... Uh, sporadically, right? And then they're just like they—they're just sticking to their guns on that, even though they could be making a lot of money. I don't think Cube is a format where you're gonna be like, "Well, I'm just tired of it." I mean, maybe you would be, but I'm just gonna pass this Soren because it's the exact two colors we're not. Air is a fantastic two drop, but also Master of the Way is wonderful as well. I think we're taking—I think we're taking Master of the Way. Two to any target. That seems pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, there is a dry running in the background. Yeah, that's correct. I forgot about that. I don't know. I just kind of drown it out, I guess. None of these cards are great for us. We have no black cards that we really care about splashing. Goblin Slide is not terrible. I wonder if we can Goblin Slide here. Like, we have a bunch of spells. I don't know if it's great, though. I'm gonna take it anyway. There's not really nothing... There's nothing great in this pack. Yeah, so if you guys are watching on YouTube, there is a dryer in the background. If you're watching on YouTube, you can also go to patreon.com slash franklapore. And if you don't want to spend the $5 a month on Twitch, you can donate $1, $2 a month. A month. It's like nothing. And then you can support the channel that way. It's a great way to support the channel. Uh, into the battlefield, the one counter. Yeah, this card's great. So far, our cliff's also great. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Warday Masperant. Friends does not have a Patreon page yet. We're still in the, uh, the early stages of talking about nothing. <laughs> Um, this pack is pretty rough. This is just abomination, and hope we hit like a, a way to splash it. Splash that black land. I mean, probably it's a three drop either way. So, why are these packs drying up? I'm not thrilled about it. Monastery Swift Spear. It's like Teamer Banner, I guess. I just don't care about Swift Spear here. I mean, it does turn on Warname Aspirant, but 
I mean, it's not that great. Rugged Highlands is nice. Treasure Cruise? I did not expect that to, to, to come back. Eh. Oh, it is pouring rain outside. Whatever. It's 2-2. Two -two. Uh, Phantom Draft. Because, like, the cards from... Khan's, Khan's cards aren't worth a ton anyway, so... Are foil fetches worth money on Magic Online? I don't even know. Oh, look. The best card in this pack is probably Rugged Highlands or Crippling Chill. Hardly Outburst, not bad. This guy's... I don't like this guy at all. Maybe it's fine. I feel like it's too aggressive. Yeah, foil fetch is like five dollars. Not a ton. Not a ton. I wanna take Hortling Outburst, I think. Yeah, Hortling Outburst seems fine here. Flying crane technique? Jeez. Savage Punch is great. I also have nine creatures here. But unfortunately, there's no great creatures in this pack, so... I'm going to take the Savage Punch. I'm not in a position where I'm going to be splashing uh, a white card here. Arc Lightning? Probably better than Water World, maybe. Scion of Glaciers is good. It's a 2-5. Gets plus 1, plus 0. Plus 1, negative 1, so you make it a 3-4 or a 4-3. We are more green-red than any other color, though. And we have no double blue cards right now, which is kind of nice. Which means I almost want the Summit Prowler instead. Ooh, Set of Drift is great. I and mean, I feel like I want more creatures. We have 10 creatures plus a Hordling Outburst. Yeah, we'll Set of Drift. Oh, uh, another Snowhorn Rider? Yeah, that's better than the Abomination of Good Duel that we're, we're, we're sliding in here. Uh, Hooting Mandrels is great. This is quite a few Delve cards, but what are you going to do? <laughs> that is what we are. We can cut. Let's see what we can cut here. Valley Dasher is pretty meh, but I mean, it is a creature. Probably Goblin Slide, even though we have a ton of spells. <coughs> Ah, this is right. This is a situation where I just take Horde Ambusher. Actually, Smoke Teller is going to be about better than that. It's better than Valley Dasher too. Just don't delve on it. I feel like you mean dwell on it, but I, I get what you're saying here. There's one damage to each creature you don't control. They can't block. Yeah, that card just wins. Going to win games.
my head is hurting right now. You gotta delve in me. I don't even, that doesn't even make any sense. As you've chosen more red cards, my power grows stronger and thus now I'm able to talk to you for the first time. Yes, yes, more red. This pleases, why are you like this? What's the matter with you? Thank you. You maniac. Zedra, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. one cut here. It's probably just Teamer Banner, right? Yeah, this deck doesn't look terrible. We've got a decent amount of removal. we got Bring Low, Swift Kick, Master of the Way, Set Adrift, Savage Punch, Arc Lightning. This deck actually seems pretty okay. Hello everybody except Frank. Also, hello Frank. I'm eating peanut butter ice cream cake for lunch. That sounds pretty legit. That sounds absolutely delicious right now. I'm sad we didn't get any teamer bombs. You want some cake? <laughs> you know, it's funny. Once I said that sounds delicious, I knew you were going to ask that. And I was like, I almost felt like I was exploiting the fact that you, I was like, oh no, he's going to ask if I want cake now. Not that I would mind cake, but. Yeah, YouTube's going to be like, what's that noise in the background? Can't you turn your dryer off when you're streaming? And I would be like, oh god, I'm sorry, it wasn't me. I have other people using the clothing, the drying thing. What about some nugs? No, I'm definitely... I'm, I'm more in a sweet than a savory mood. I like this deck. Carbs are drugs. Wow, that's aggressive. Ice cream nugs. <laughs> Those are just bonbons, right? Land, land, land. Do, 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 do. 
our blue is very minimal, and we have no double blue cards, which is very, very nice. So five, six, seven, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, seven, six. Sure. Get that blue out of here and put in all the red. What's wrong with you? These red cards. What's wrong with you? It's hard to tell sometimes. got a friend in me okay you know what I'll give it a go I'll give it a little shot Okay, that's enough. Hope they don't hope they don't play anything crazy. Oh good they didn't. Hey, this is crazy. So play that archer. Here comes something good. Something good in the neighborhood. What is that, Applebee's? Nobody knows. get him. Another green would be nice, then we can go Outlast and Savage Punch. I almost sent you some of those Viking waffles they advertised to me on Instagram all the time, but they didn't sell them on Amazon, and I was too lazy to put your address into this site. Wow. What's a, what's an, what's a Viking waffle? I don't even know what that is. Well, six drops, six drops, savage. We could just savage punch one of these two. I feel like it's got to be okay to do this, right? Yeah, all right. Viking waffles. The world's healthiest waffle. Gluten free. Interesting. Did Mike be leave for work yet? Hold on, let's find out. Yes, but just barely. Hey, this is crazy. Hmm. Actually, Roar is not even that bad here. We could roar, force both of these guys to block here. Um, this would get indestructible. It would kill both of them, and then we get it for five. And then we can still play mandrels. It seems very good. Told you kids, Roar is good. Don't sleep on it.
Well, that guy's aggressive. I'll just take six here. Oh. <clears throat> I should hire a trainer to show up at your house or we can wake Mike B up and make him exercise you could broadcast and then we can all exercise with him yeah that's a good idea have you been watching any of the GP not really no I've been watching a lot of The Office for like the seventh time. Good lord. Hmm. Thankfully, he doesn't give for a strike. I would have probably attacked with the 4-3, and then when we block plus 3 plus, though, it... Oh, I guess you don't have the mana to do that, though, so... Yeah, we're gonna flip this guy up, because if we draw something else, I don't really want to sit on that. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, biscuits. This has got to be the end, right? This is the end. My only friend of the end. So even if you block here, you can't block there. So you have to block. Yep. All right, cool. Good night, sweet hootie man. Well, that went well for us. <coughs> yeah, this hand's okay. I don't like playing Warname Aspirin without the counter on it, but what are you going to do? Hey, this is crazy. Little bird, little bird, what are you doing? Can I block workers with power one or less? I'll trade here. Never trading. It's actually a pretty sweet curve here. Bring low, sweet hootie man. Coming forth to carry me home. <clears throat> I mean, if you want to trade your more for my war name, Aspirant. Man, always a mystic of the hidden way. Make me feel some hidden way. Two five is surprisingly big in this format. So now the question is, do we smoke teller and just take a gander here? I think we do. I want to know your secrets. It's going to be in a free, right? Glacial stalker. Okay, that's good to know. 
That's good to know. <clears throat> My kingdom for a reacher. Thank you. High five for five months. Hi 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 five. No, I can't do anything funny with that. Mean Margaret. Kate, thank you so much. You are awesome. And I love you. Ugh. You are my favorite. Oh, look at that guy. We still have, like, nothing to do here. <laughs> like, it's really sad. I feel like knowing what these morphs are very important. Morphs. One, two, three, four. We could just play this guy. But then, like, if, if this is, like, a tricky guy, we don't know it. Okay, it's a mystic get hidden away. Thankfully, we don't have ways to get things back from our graveyard, so I don't feel bad about delving. Oh, boy. This one salt road patrol is, like, ruining my day. I'm not going to block you because I have better things to do. Like, not block you because I don't have any flying creatures, obviously. <gasps> okay, three damage somewhere. Where are we putting it? Probably on this guy, to be honest with you. <sighs> they should have delve morphs where you pay cards from the graveyard to unmorph. That's actually not... Or you can pay cards to morph them either way <clears throat> five six seven actually we can put two and then two on this guy and then kill both that seems good Yeah, the best part of I mean, Master of the Way would be a lot less good if it didn't draw you a card. Why does it have to be Oh, come on, don't feed of... God, they never don't have feet of resistance, do they? It's so bad. And we don't even get to draw the card. Great. Oh, feet of resistance. You are so broken in this format. I don't know why. You just are. Yep, literally never getting past this now. pretty exhausting. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Fascinating. Is this five? Is it just, did we just win with this? We put it on this because if they have any way to bounce the creature that we target, then I'd rather replay a bear companion. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, 
All right, let's do it. Blowout City. Okay, sure. They have four, five, six, seven, eight. They go to four. We get to kill the Mystic, I guess. Or is it better to kill the Bondkin, which gives first strike? I don't think so. The Mystic's pretty problematic. I mean, that's not bad. It's still pretty good. Mystic Glacial, Mystic Glacial. Interesting. Are they making a third color? What was their third color? Did they have one? Alright, anything good. One time. That's not bad. Weapons. Oh, it was red because they have the weapon smith. Yeah, okay. If we alpha, they go block here, block here, block here. They take two, but they do have to block that way. I guess they could block a two, a two, and a two. And now they, they have to block the four with something. Yeah, seems fine. Like, they have to lose both these guys or else they die, right? Because they can't just block two things or else they take four. So they have to block with both of these. And then we get to play Snowhorn Rider afterwards. <coughs> Man, Smoke Teller was nice. It let us know all of the all the potential plays that they had. So kill, kill. We lose Smoke. We get to keep 4-4 four, four, and 2-2. Two, two. They go to 2. And then we get to play 5-5. Five, five. Fat boy. The fattest of boys. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, smoke teller is just a two two for two. Like most of the time, it's just a just a bear, but like being able to find out if they have like mono weapon masters on board is pretty good. Good games, set adrift, put you on top of the library. See you later. Welp, see you later. Alright. Yeah, I feel like we were still in pretty good position without the top deck, right? Like, we still had... They go block 5-5, five, five, and then one of these guys has to block the 2-2, two, two, the other has to block the 4-4, four, four, so... Like, they're still losing both of these guys, and we're coming ahead with 4-4 four, four, and 5-5. Five, five. So, I mean, we're still in great shape, even without the set adrift, but... They did draw a bunch of cards, so it is possible that they start coming around. Yeah, okay. This is fine. We got a three drop, four drop, and then a flip on a five, so. Not terrible.
I think we're just going to pass here. I definitely don't want to trade the 5-5 five five with either one of these guys, especially when they miss the land drop. I'll just take two here. Yep, that's what I was worried about. And by worried about, I mean it's just not not ideal, but I mean, at least we have another land to discard if they have another Martyr's Skull Hunter. But. Nope, just another Bondy boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Well, they're stuck on two, and we have two 5-5 five -five Tramplers. So I feel like that's gonna probably. Get him in there. And... Yeah, okay. Well, that was barely a game. Barrage of Boulder seems actually nuts. They just had 3-1 toughness creatures. Let's bring in a Barrage of Boulders. Take out. Man, Arc Lightning seems good too. Take out the Alpine Grizzly. That guy just trades with everything else. Yeah, okay. This is fine. Not again. Why does it keep doing this? Oh my god, it's so obnoxious. Well, they went to six again, so... Well, dang it. Ah, uh, we can attack with this and then heart pierce or something. That seems good. I'm sure they're gonna make us discard something. It's probably Roar here. I don't see Roar being that great. Oh. Well then. Um I do like that better. Cause now we can either easily double block here, still have an attacker for a heart piercer. And if they block here, then we get to trade. Fascinating. I mean, I'll throw two goblins in front of a chief. Wow, that was good. That was a good deal for us. <clears throat> if they make us discard, we're just going to go to Roar here. Yeah, okay. Seems good.
All right. I would not mind a land next turn. So that we can... I guess I would. Eh, I don't really need a land. Seems good. Gets it out of their hand, though, which I'm okay with. Well, biscuits. Yeah, I feel like we're a little far behind here, unfortunately. Actually, Roar of Challenge can probably be taken out. Do we think they have another spell? Probably not. Probably do. Nope, just save a point. Defense, do this thing. More creatures would be good, but alas, it was not meant to be. Actually, if we flip this guy, Barrage of Boulders and Roar next turn, we can actually probably take out a good amount of things. <clears throat> no, there's definitely transparent cards. I literally just mentioned that. I said it, not, not this again. It does all the time. Unfortunately, oh wait, we can't because Roar makes them block. Oh, we, we barrage post combat. That's right. Does that work though? Because I kind of want to kill these guys with the barrage. Creatures can't block. All creatures able to block must block. And that's a bummer. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. We can put three and then two. Yeah, we can still do it. And then we barrage. We kill the one ones. We put the one ones last. Yeah, so put this guy in the front. Deal three and two. So we got rid of Timely Horde made Just Guy Student two tokens for a barrage and a roar. Not terrible. Sure. Nice. So, one, two, three, four, five, and a barrage. We'll just keep up Force Away. Which can either save our Snowhorn Rider or just bounce this if it's super, super broken. That's very good. Okay. It's ocean man, will take me by the hand. Uh, do I want to loot? Yes, because incremental growth's not doing anything for us right now. Well, that was a pretty broken turn.
Oh, I wish I looted a turn later because incremental growth would be insane here. Well, they both have tramples, so you're gonna block here. But then I think we're in good shape. Alright, so now Hooting Mandrels is lethal. Man, can you imagine if we had incremental growth? I put one counter on this guy and then a thousand counters on the other guy. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's do that. Treasure Cruise. One, two, three. Cost five. One, two, three, four, five. You know what? I'll just attack first. Oh boy. Our deck is good. Got him. Got him. Bring that hooting mandrels low. Not great. Not it's not great. Not great, Bob. I'm gonna keep it anyway. We're on the draw. We really need some mountains here. Okay, that guy's fine. Oh boy, that's a playable card. Eat some of these craisins, guys. Warning. Craisin warning. Oh, they smell delicious. Okay, I'll allow it. Biscuits. Man, this is another situation where uh, barrage would be great. We, we attack, they block. We need to do one, 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 so they have a two, three. This day is tomorrow, pro tour. Top eight competitor on Twitch. Wow, I'm flattered.
James, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. I feel like if we can just hit some lands. Then we're okay. Oh man, JTHD? Stream dreams. Oh, look at that. Oh man, again. Can we get one barrage of boulders up in here? On the bright side, this guy trades with anything, so that's okay. So that warrior token's gonna bite the dust. No, it can't, actually. Never mind. Thank you. Gunners, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate you. I'll go to the Watcher of the Roost. I mean, no more land we get to play Hooting Mandrels or Master of the Way. We can also Hordling Outburst now, which is pretty good against their whole team. Well, that's not what we're looking for. I guess we just outburst here. I don't even know what JCVD is. All right, buddy. You're getting out of hand with this guy. If we draw a land, we're definitely master of the weighing this guy. We did not draw a land. Wow, Jean-Claude Van Damme. How did you guys know that? That's so obscure. You guys are like, uh, it's Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> I guess we'll play this guy, and next turn we can roar. I assume this is the 4-4, four four, so I want to have something to uh, to compete with it. And they're going to flip it right now. Oh, it's a 6-7. That's worse, but it's fine because we can block it all day. He made a movie called JCVD? Wow. Wow, get a load of this guy. Get a load of this guy. Land. Not a land. Okay. <sighs> so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can deal with ten. But then we do we die on the crackback? We do. We got two cards in hand. This could be a blowout, but we're working with few options. Yep, and it's going to be a nightmare. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop. We're going to the next game. Oh, look, a land. How nice. How lovely. I don't think we could have played. I think we were two short, uh, one short of playing Hooting Mandrels that turn. We had one extra mana. We had two cards in the graveyard. We would have gotten a creature and the roar into the graveyard. So that would have been four graveyard cards, one land, which would have been five. One shy of casting. Ya boy. Did he just submit with 41 cards when he didn't draw a fifth land last game? Yes, he did. 
because that's how variance works, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this seems good. I like this one a lot. Got all the colors. Two drop, three drop, four drop. Need a second red. But that's okay. Next Wednesday is what's known as the Grixis Cube, which is all Grixis cards. Oh, alternative four drop, just in case. Seems good. Level of excitement if they do a salt IQ? Pretty high. Do we just bring low this guy? I feel like I don't want to trade here. Especially if it's a Wooly Locks it on. Because our guy comes down next turn, theoretically. Oh no, Watcher of the Roost! But not being able to, to raid out this guy next turn is, <clears throat> is very good for us, so... Jay Monster, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Didn't hit that land. I guess we're just playing this dog, man. Nope. No attacks. Mountain would be nice. I like a mountain. Five mana and did nothing. Fascinating. Alright, well. We know they're going to do some kind of shenanigans here, so. Yeah, that's what I figured. But we're not going to be able to play around that, so. And we're still doing fine there at 11. It's whatever. I think Roar is very strong here. If we can draw red, we can play both of these guys, then Roar, which is pretty good, because we need to get the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, put them at 2. Okay, well, they got a raid card, so they're raiding something out here. No, just a Pine Walker. Swift McKickums. <sighs> Interesting. Okay. Still all right. Any have anyone have exciting weekend plans? Uh no. Suck on them eggs. Let's say whenever or another creature controls turn face up, untap it. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. So we can swift kick here, but then these two trade. Could also swift kick here, but the problem is this is four damage either way. I 
I'm gonna make sandwiches for people. Me too. Me too. Just kidding, I made that up. I lied to you about my sandwich plans. I don't feel good about it. Hmm. Meatballs with pepper jack mostly. Dear God, why? I should literally have no idea what to do here. This is these are not options. This is really not an option. Do we swift kick something? Cause nothing changed here quite much. I guess we're just passing here. I don't first see a swift kicking at EOT. Cause he's a sandwich artist making pepper jack work on meatball subs. Wow, these are aggressive five, six, I'm gonna take seven here. Yep, that's fine too. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about any of these stupid idiots. Okay, that's interesting. Does that change anything? Five, six, seven. The second red is really killing us here. Could play this guy, chump block here. This guy seems good. I think that's our best chance at winning next turn. I mean, they have four cards. I have no idea what they could be. We're kind of behind here, but... Not really. I think we just take this and go to two. I don't think they can deal us two here. But also, like, if they if we put blocks on here, this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and that kills them. So like, I don't know. Yep, you got it. I kind of want another land here. Nope. Oh god, I really wish they played something. Yes, that's what we wanted. Okay, so... Roar on this guy. Because it can't be... it can't be neck broken. It can't get his neck broken. Alright, moment of truth. We know they have like neck snap or something. What? What? Three o oh boy. Nope, not three o. Not not there yet. So close. Okay. <laughs> I thought that was the end. Dang it. I guess I was so used to winning these matches. That I was like, wait, we did really. Did we win the whole thing? Oh, hooray. Two point five o. That's correct. That's correct. Man, I got ahead of myself. Yeah, deck seems fine. I'm game.
Dang it. Definitely keeping this hand. Man, I feel like this archer's parapet is going to make this a long game. Well, that guy's going to make it a shorter game. No plays. Oh god. Well, we had a good run. Jesus Christ. That guy is brutal. Yeah, they could just sit behind that and kill us now. Put a counter on this. Attack for 3-7. That's pretty good. Puts us to 11. Put another counter on this. Yep. Yep. That'll do, pig. Wow. <laughs> Turn too late. <sighs> Bridge too far. That's brutal. This card's unbeatable. Like, unless you have an answer for it immediately, it's pretty pretty ridiculous. The problem is, even if we get rid of the Sentinels, the Abzan Falconer still has flying. And we're going to five here, so. Yeah. Huh. But then we were not dead. What? It doesn't have its own counter? Oh, I'm out of here. That's terrible. Uh, I thought it had a counter on it. Yeah, that was a punt. I don't think it matters. Like, we're not going to win that game anyway. Like, we could kill the other guy, but... I don't think it's going to get us anywhere. Like, we have no way to deal with the, the flying 4-5. So, either way, thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on manatraders.com. Uh, CoolStuffInc.com, I just had an article go up yesterday, uh, or two days ago, every Wednesday, I have articles go up. This time I talk about the cards that do nothing in modern, so definitely check that out. You can use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. And at Manatraders.com, you can use the link and the promo code in the description to get 20% off your first three months of any subscription, so definitely check that out. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.